A proposed pipeline between Cedar Rapids and Decatur is set to go before the Illinois Commerce Commission in the next couple of months. But before the state can decide if the CO2 pipeline can move forward, News Aid's Joe McCoy explains why community members are concerned about safety. If we don't seem to fight it now, it's right. going to get worse. Jim Huffman and Leslie Carroll are two of hundreds of residents in Stark and Henry County severely against a proposed CO2 pipeline that would run 300 miles underground from Cedar Rapids to Decatur, a pipeline they feel would be unsafe. If it ruptures, it's CO2, you don't smell it. You become disoriented, is what I understand, and they have proof of this from a Sartarsha, Mississippi disaster. In that instance, the CO2 pipeline rupture hospitalized 45 people. I live a half a mile on the east side of the proposed route. This half a mile is not going to be out of the plume area. And so if there is a rupture, our family, our neighbors, they're going to be involved with it. Safety is the main concern, but Wolf Carbon Solutions, the Denver-based company hoping to build the pipeline, wants to use eminent domain to acquire the farmland the pipeline would sit under. If I was building a new interstate or whatever and we needed another uh, cloverleaf, okay, that would be, you know, an eminent domain that might come into play there. But this is going to a private company. The reason Wolf wants to store the CO2 in Decatur is because of the Simon Sandstone formation that's able to absorb the liquidized version of CO2. It'd be like me just telling you that I'm going to take some of your land. You know, you, you own it, but that's okay. Yeah, Residents have been told the eminent domain payment would be a one-time thing, negotiated between Wolf and each individual landowner. They have not yet been told roughly what that price would be. In Cambridge, Joe McCoy, WQAD News 8. Now, Wolf Carbon Solutions is scheduled to go before the Illinois Commerce Commission early next year. The ICC has until May to decide if they will grant a permit to begin work. We have reached out to Wolf for comment, but we have not heard back.